God will deliver you. God will deliver you from that annoying person. God will deliver you from that annoying condition. From that situation that has brought shame in your life. That has brought you to low levels. That has demoted you. God will deliver you. Some of you have been accused. You have been surrounded by enemies. But God is going to deliver you from all of them. Not one person, not two people, but all of them. You will be delivered from all of them. The scripture says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from all. I know many are your afflictions. You have been afflicted. You have been pressed down in all ways. Just when you are about to come out, you again are afflicted. But God is going to deliver you, brothers and sisters. If you can believe in the word of God, if you can believe in the promise of God, you will never be put to shame. Today's word is in the book of Psalm 116, 8 to 9. Psalms 116, 8 to 9. And it reads, For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living, powerful. Now, this is a statement that was said by the psalmist. He was going through so much affliction. Probably in his past endeavors, he encountered a lot of enemies. And after he had come out of that affliction, after he had come out of that trying moment, he made this. He said that God had delivered his soul from death. I know many of you may be going through life-threatening conditions. Some of you even are, are, are the streets that you pass by are very dangerous. They are filled with criminals. It could be even at your workplace. There are people who are plotting your destruction. There are people who are devising to pull you down, to frame you. But God will deliver you from all your adversaries. Some of you have survived death. There are things that would have taken you in your sleep. There are things that would have killed you a long time ago. But it is the Lord's mercy. It is because of God that you have been preserved. It is because of God's guidance. It is because of the hedge of protection that God has put around you. That God has set his angels to preserve you. There are a lot of things that have sought to destroy you. Some of you, the sicknesses that you get. I'm speaking to somebody. You get sickness after sickness. The same sickness, the same condition keeps coming back. That condition wants to destroy your life. But God is going to deliver you from it. God is going to deliver you. Some of you, the things that have killed your family members want to kill you. The conditions that have taken down your family members want to take you down. But I pray that God delivers you, that he preserves you from the hands of the enemy. God will deliver you. Now, the scripture also says that my that, that, that the psalmist was delivered, that even his eyes from tears and my feet from falling. So he was del- that means the psalmist, the person who wrote this scripture, he cried a lot, just like many of you are crying. It seems, that cry- it seems like crying has become like something that is usual to you. But God will deliver your eyes from tears. The only tears you will have are the tears of joy. Because there are different types of, there are tears of sorrow and there are tears of joy. When you receive good news, too good to be true, a miracle, tears of joy. God 
God will also deliver your feet from falling. Some of you dream when you're falling in a, in a place that is endless, in a pit. And some of you are falling physically. You fall down. Situations have, have pressed you down. People have, uh, have, have, have put you down. But God will deliver you. I pray that you walk in the land of the living. That you accomplish the mission and the plan and the purpose that God has for you. You will not die before your time. You will not fall down just like any, a mere person. You will not go down because Christ Jesus lives in you. God lives in you and he wants you to prosper. He wants you to walk on the right path. That's why he said it is, impos- it, 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 it is very important that you keep yourself in the word of God. Keep hearing the word. Keep hearing the word. When the enemy says this, go back to the word. When you receive a negative report, go back to the word of God. Read the word of God. What does the word say about you? What does the word say about your condition? Scripture says, by his stripes, we were healed. We were already healed. So no matter the sickness, no matter how big that sickness is, no matter how uh, draining that problem could be, know that there is no problem that God cannot handle. There is no sickness that God cannot heal. He is a healer. So keep confessing the word over your life. And the word will work. Keep believing in Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I've come to encourage you that God is with you. And he will deliver you. Just like he delivered many people in the past. There are a lot of people in the the scriptures that went through life-threatening things. But God delivered them. Another one example is David. David went through a journey that is terrifying. Where to an extent that Saul the king, the king of that land, wanted to kill him. But David was delivered. They were destiny helpers. In David's life, when Saul wanted to kill David, the son of Saul, Jonathan, saved David's life. He he informed David about the father's uh, evil plans. So brothers and sisters, I pray that God makes a way in your life. Now I've come to the end of this message. And one thing that I would like you to do is to share this message with somebody else, uh, like this video, and leave your comment. 